Hello everyone, Neon Jigglypuff here, and welcome to my newest Let's Play, Bayonetta. Yes, it's not Paper Mario for once, and I actually almost said- Oh, it's going to the demo right now. Oops. Um, I actually almost said Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, and not Bayonetta, but, uh, yeah, this is gonna be- This is gonna be a different LP, mainly because it's finally not a Mario game anymore, and because it's an M-rated game, and, and it's not a Nintendo game. Well, it's published- by Nintendo, but it isn't a Nintendo game. They just published it. Or no, they didn't even do this. This is a purely Platinum Games and Sega game. It's different, M-rated, and there's swearing and nudity and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'm usually a PG-13 channel, but for this LP, uh, I usually censor myself and I swear on accident, but since it's an Emerited game, there's no point in censoring my own swears if there's swears in the game. So if I do let one slip out and I accidentally do um, drop an F-bomb, I will not censor it. Like this. Fuck! I didn't censor that, and I'm not going to censor any of them because it's an Emerited game, and they say it all the time too. So, uh, yeah, new game. I'm going to be able to continue. Yeah, whatever, yes. New game. Difficulty? Easy? I'm not doing easy. I'm doing normal. Yeah, sorry for that cut there. I know already. We didn't even start the episode yet. I'm already cutting scenes because I got a uh, phone call and uh, yeah, you know. But anyway, it's muted now. Everything's fine. We're going normal mode. I'm not going easy, very easy. No, I will only do easy if I really, really have to. But um, no, no, I'm not doing easy because I want it to be a challenge too. But it's also for showcasing the story. That's what LPs are for. So yeah, let's not drag on anymore. That's okay. And um... Yeah, now I guess we're gonna watch the cutscene, so shh. Okay, now just like that, we're starting, but I'm also going to be quiet because there's still dialogue here, so yeah. Shh, no talking for now. The Umbra Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The In fact, it's kind of weird not talking right now. I don't know, I, should, I don't know if I should talk or not. I'm ruining the story, yeah. It won't, it won't last long, I promise. I know this is weird. It's weird. Okay, wait, no, we stopped talking. Okay, okay, we can start talking now. I know it wouldn't last long, but yeah. Okay, so the dialogue has stopped. Oh, crap. Okay. Now, this place is called the Umbrit's Clock Tower, and oh, okay, okay then. Okay, game. And stoke the flames of hatred against each other, resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, okay. This is a great episode, great first episode. You know, game, uh, the first few seconds of a video are the most important. You know, it's the first impression, and you know, if it's just me not talking, then, uh, yeah. Game, please, let me- Okay, oh, oh, okay. I know I'm talking over cutscenes, but trust me, I'm not gonna be doing this the whole game. I don't talk over cutscenes at all, so yeah. If that's your concern, then it's it, well, it it'll go to rest because I don't talk over cutscenes. Anyway, it's over now. I, I can actually speak normally now. Yes, I do not talk over cutscenes all the time, so don't worry guys. If there's ever a cutscene, no matter what it is, uh, I will not talk over it. I do not talk over cutscenes. I I think it's dumb. I don't do that. I mean, if you do that, it's fine, but I don't because I like to um, showcase the story in games. This is why I, I let's play in the first place. I do it to showcase the story. And then, yeah. Oh, their victory was short-lived. I know it, it does a narrator, but I, I should be... Oh, God, I did not, did not even see that. Okay. There's subtitles there. I guess you don't want... You guys don't really mind, do you? There's subtitles, though. I haven't been using Witch Time at all. I haven't had time to, like, showcase any of the moves yet, but, um... I will eventually. Just 
Not now. What happened? This game is really... This level is really confusing. It's not even a level, it's just a prologue. It's the prologue of the game, and I'm, I, I, it's confusing. I can't talk about anything because of the story. All but one. I know I can't... I wish I could talk about the game, but I can't. Okay then. Yes, yeah, so you press R to go to the sub menu, and the sub menu is just chapter select, custom. Yeah, it, it's like stuff like that. It's not really that important, but yeah. Um, we just stumbled upon some kind of cult where, yeah, it's pretty much one of those cults where they kill themselves to, you know, be returned to God, and yeah, and now Bane is about to kill them because they became angels, and that's the main bad guy. Um, yeah, bad guy. I, I don't know, it's really weird, but save. I'm gonna save, of course, I'm gonna, I stay between every single chapter. That's my previous chapter, I think. No, I mean, not chapters, files. These two are, like, my actual files for when I was playing on my own time, but this is a brand new file, so that's gonna be saved in file three. I have zero, I almost said rupees, I have zero rings, or no, halos. Fun fact, that's a Sonic reference, because remember, this game was made by Sega, so it's a reference to Hedgehog, how the currency is rings in that game. Or in that series, but in this series, it's Halo, so they're pretty much the same thing. They're golden rings, essentially. Submenu? I'll show that at a later time, actually. Let's just get start. Wait, what? We're not in the prologue? We didn't do the prologue yet. That wasn't the pro. Okay, then. But there's going to be a cutscene, so I'm going to be quiet. It looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even old Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. 
Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? Ah! I hate this damn life. I can't see a thing! Oh! What the there, ain't they? You hearing me? You you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my god! Dear Lord, grant us guidance and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity.
Okay, finally I'm actually able to talk. Um, yeah, this game is not just, you know, it's not just a regular game with nudity and blood and and uh, violence, you know, it actually has a lot of personality and charm to it. It's actually pretty funny, like Rodan just, you know, a, a freaking like, gravestone just, oh, oh, it's a, it's a tutorial thing. Yeah, whatever, tutorial, it'll explain everything. Um, he just took a freaking gravestone to his head and, you know, didn't, he didn't, it didn't phase him at all, and it's so good. It's really funny. Also, Enzo, the, the short guy, right? I freaking love Enzo so much, guys. I just, I just, I love Enzo so much. He's so funny. He's my favorite character in the series, really. And um, then, yeah, it also gets sexual at times. But you know what? It, it's, it's not. You know what? I, I appreciate it though because like. Being uh, sexualized isn't her only character, you know? She actually has a personality, and we're, and we're gonna see more of that pretty soon. And this game is, you know, it's a pretty good game. I like it. I really like it. And I, oops, I failed. Oops, I failed the tutorial. I, I failed the game I've played. Oh my god. I failed again. I played this and its sequel, and I can't seem to get this right. Okay, then. Now. Are you serious? There we go. We finally got Witch Time down. There we go. Yes, it freezes enemies. We have a chance to attack, and they're completely defenseless. It's very useful, very helpful. It's the main mechanic of this game, which time is very, very important. So now, for those of you who play Smash 4 and who are hyped up for Ultimate, right? And you don't really know where Bayonetta comes from, you know, because like everyone's like, "Why do they hate Bayonetta so much? You know, she's so OP." Well, now you have a chance to learn who she is and where she comes from now. So it's good. And I am not doing well. It's I. Okay, this thing, this level is supposed to, not level, but this, like, part of the game is supposed to give you pretty much a free gold rank, and I'm already messing it up, and I don't know how. I guess because I haven't played it in so long, I just, you know, forgot all the combos, I guess? But I'll get better as the games go on, so I'll, it'll be fine, you'll see me, you know, not, I'm just not really good at this game right now, I, I, you know, it's very weird, but I got wish time, so it's fine, there we go. And I forgot all the combos that I learned in Bayo 1 and 2, so this is not... Good, but I can finally talk now and I can talk about the game and how excited I am to finally start playing a new game, especially not a Mario game, because you know I've been I've played so many Mario games. While I do enjoy Mario games, obviously, um it was time for a change. Like I would it was well overdue that I, you know, change things up a bit and play a non-Mario game. I think it, it was time, you know. I mean, I'm not even classified as a Mario tuber. I don't even think that exists, but yeah. If it does exist, then I'm it. At least I was, until now. Now I am not. Now I'm just a regular gaming channel. But you know what? It's fine. Because after, what, 37 episodes of Paper Mario and it's still not done? Uh, I think it's time for a change. Don't worry. I'm still gonna be doing more Thousand Year Door. It's just... Can I kill this guy, please? How have I forgotten how to play this? I really... I don't know how to play this game at all. And this... You have actually seen a little bit of gameplay of this in the trailer that I made, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. What are you doing watching this? Go check out the, the trailer and what? Oh, tutorial. Okay, A or X. 
is that if you hold the attack button, you can shoot while, you know, attacking. It's just like in Smash. So, for those of you who are wondering where her moveset comes from, now you're learning. Okay. What? Hold down... Okay, yeah, we can hold down X or A, spin the left stick, and then we can uh, do a, a rapid-fire attack, and then we can just kill everybody around, and it's kind of like a first-person shooter, and it's pretty cool. Anyway, next, we already know this. No, next! Next me! I don't want to do... Okay, there we go. That, that's that's it. And uh, these are pretty small, slow enemies, so they're easy to kill because, you know, it, it homes in. But, like, you pretty much... There's no real aiming involved in the, in the shooting of this game. It's it's all automatic, so, you know, don't have to worry about that at all. And, ooh, ooh, I got a special thing. I don't even know how I did that. Okay, then. Okay, I'm not using wish time. I am not using wish time at all. Okay, no, get away from me. I should really just do the thing. There we go. Easy. Not really. I think no matter what you do, though, in this part, you always get a gold rank. However, don't expect me to get gold ranks. And, um... Yeah, because I'm not good at this game at all. I'm not. Really am. I'm really not. But, uh... You know, I still really like these games. Or this game, really. I'm not playing the, the uh, second one yet. But still, I like this game a lot. And, uh, it's pretty funny. I, I love the cutscenes. And the best part is, right? Um, the cutscenes. They're fully voice acted and, oh, speak of the devil. Uh, Enzo just got taken by that angel, but... Okay. Oh. Ah! Damn it, who did that? I just bought the damn thing! Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this world. Oh, see, we ruined Enzo's brand new car that he got for his birthday. Yeah, I'm sorry, Enzo, but... Uh, uh, what? Okay, never mind. Which time? I got it. I got it. Oh, this is the one that has... Enzo, okay, kill this guy. Oh, it's a mini-boss! I should have known! I don't know why I'm being so stupid right now. Lock the kit. Get which time? This. Thank you. Kill this guy. Oh my god, but still, this game, I have so much to show you just in the first episode. Unfortunately, the episode is going to be a lot less of me talking. Oh, thank God, right? But yeah, it's going to be a lot less me and a lot more of the cutscene. Because remember, it's the beginning of the story, or they have to explain everything. So it's going to be a lot of cutscenes that, um, yeah, I can't really talk over. So don't expect me to talk too much during this episode. But, uh, you know, for better or for worse, depending on who you are, um, yeah, it might be a blessing to not hear my voice so much in my own videos. In which case, you don't like, you don't like the sound of my voice. Why are you watching? But please don't stop watching. Anyway, we got a silver medal. Should have been gold. You should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Hmm. Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you! You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Ah! Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about... Eggman! Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What?! Don't you leave me here! <laughs> yeah, this game is... It, it has its... 
It's, uh, like, the dialogue is very, very nice. I really like this game, and I can't talk anymore. Oh, oh my god, I really want to talk about this game, but day. I can't. I'm screwed! Ah! It's gonna take every cent I earned on this charade to pay for the damage. I tell you what, if I could see them bastards that did this to my car, forget about it. Enzo, the road. Pay attention. How can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this, too. Of all the low-life scum in too deep in this town, I've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with God's messengers. He dressed like a nun, too. When you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys are nice. <laughs> Hey, 20 years ago, you woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All you can remember is that you're a witch. But now, you're stuck because you gotta sacrifice our halo-wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know, I thought I got screwed, but being forced to slap around the divine for a living? That's really getting screwed. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. Ha 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 ha! Come on now! Look at my poor car! I'm working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan's before you start drilling me. The info I got is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. <laughs> After jewels instead of cash, just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus, can't you take a joke? Enzo, someone's given you a present. Too bad. I can't stand bugs. The fuck was that pose? He, she reminded me of Wolf and Ultimate. What was that? Okay, um, let me to fill up our gauge within five minutes, and I don't know what Bayonet is doing, but please, uh, cooperate with me, please. This is getting pretty loud, actually. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, uh, torture time. Okay, this is a lot, a lot to take in right now. Okay, um, let me talk about this. Uh, hold on. What, what is this camera? What's wrong with this camera? Okay, uh, first of all, I wish I could talk, but I, I can't. I'm under, under pressure right now, but, uh, anyway, the Eggman they were talking about earlier, um, that's not Eggman. That is, um, it's not the Eggman that we know. It's the Eggman, it's, it's, uh, 
Well, it's somebody else. It's not Sonic's Eggman, but it's somebody else. But I think it's a really cool reference. Like, there's a bunch of references here, and it's just... I love it. I really, really like this a lot. It's really, really cool. Okay, gotta fill up my gauge again. Um, this is not good. I'm running low on time, actually. Uh, actually, no, no, I have like a good three minutes. Pretty much three minutes to fill up my gauge. I'm, it's not, it's not bad. I can do this. Anyway, we're, we're only like, oh, we're like, okay, literally, we, we got this. We literally have this now. Okay. Wait, new one? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at this! Okay, anyway, let's watch this gruesome murder. It's really, really bad, but yeah, here we go. Gold medal, I'll take it. I took 200 damage, but I'll take it. Those assholes sure know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. <gasps> Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this, the Book of Revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and Hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Something's up. Everything was a bit too brazen. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. I got a little present for you. These babies are special. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. Don't break these, cause they're one of a kind. strange offers. Then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. Maybe I should aim for something a bit more high class.
rounding them down tonight, baby. Not to butt into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish a round. Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. <sighs> you did beat motherfucker. Ah! And that's the prologue of Bandana One. We got a gold award, guys. This is. Probably the only gold award we're ever going to see throughout the entire Let's Play, unless I use the easy mode. In which case, I'm probably going to have to, because um, in, in my actual playthrough, I didn't use easy mode at all. But for this one, I probably will, if I die too much to a boss, because I want to just get through the story, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, this episode w had a lot of story, a lot of cutscenes, but not a lot of me talking. And I'm going to end it off here, but I guarantee you the next episode will have more gameplay and more talking and less story cutscenes. Because remember, the prologue naturally is going to have a lot of cutscenes like, to it, you know what I mean? But still, it was, not, it was way longer than I expected it to be. But I'm still having fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And um, I cannot wait to start uploading these and just getting them out there. I'm really excited for this. And I couldn't be happier to start a new game. As well as, you know, still continuing the old ones. So there's going to be more more uh, variety now in doing three different games. Smash, this, and Paper Mario. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And, um, yeah, question of the day is, um, how do you like this change? Like, how do you like the change from, like, you know, instead of doing a Mario game all, like, over and over again, I'm doing a very different game, yet recognizable and iconic game because of Super Smash Bros. and, and Nintendo, you know? How do you like the jump from E-rated Paper Mario to M-rated Bayonetta with gore and sexuality and everything crazy like that? I know. And I'm not going to be PG anymore because... Not, not anymore, I mean like just for this Let's Play and I'm, I'm not going to censor my swears or anything like that. I'm going to be a little more, a little more um, adventurous, quote-unquote, let's just say that. Uh, how do you guys like that? Personally, I'm excited to start playing a different game. It's not an RPG, which I've been kind of tired of doing, not gonna lie. And reading dialogue a lot was really, um, yeah, it really, uh, hurt my throat after a while. But now, the game does it all for me. All I could do is sit back and watch, and this is a lot easier than Paper Mario. However, I still enjoy Paper Mario. Don't get me wrong, I still like that game. But this game, I like it too. And with that all said, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode of Bayonetta. See you later, guys, and don't forget to have a great day, even though I probably already said that.